Hey guys, what's going on? It's Annie, and today is the 23rd of December, so it is the week of Christmas. It sure feels like Christmas because today I have three unboxings to do. This one here is from a sale that I bought from, so it's some old decks. And then I have a package that actually really confused me for a second because I've never ordered shoes. Um, and then I saw that it was from Russia, and this is from Pro FB. So yeah, I'm gonna start with a sale package. Oh, we got two Mucho Feeling stickers from Oak Wheels, flat face sticker. And then we have the boards that I bought from him. So the first one, um, I don't know what this is, but it's just a blank green deck. Yeah, I have no idea what this is, but it's just, I think it's an extra. And then we have this Fingerboarder magazine, Berlin Wood. It's an old Berlin Wood graphic. I thought it had never been set up, which it clearly hasn't, but there's tape on top. So he probably just gripped the board, but the graphic is completely untouched. So this will just go in my collection, basically. It's a, I think it's a 27 millimeter, pretty new. So I decided to buy this off of him. And then we have the two main events, some old Wekkas. I posted a photo recently of a Wekka setup and I really like the Weka shape, even though they don't make boards anymore. The board that I've had for years is, I think from a 2015 stock or something like that. It was before, obviously, they like essentially stopped making boards. Even though this Weka is pretty used, I definitely wanted to get it because I have the sticker from it. And then for this one, it's a pretty new deck. So I got these boards. And to be honest, I probably won't set any of these up in this video because the next boards I'm gonna be riding are either Moons or Polly. This is just stuff to go in the collection, basically. I actually used to own some things from Pro FB, um, a couple of obstacles, but I don't remember what I, I think I just like gave them away or, um, or something like that, or I sold them. Um, but that was a long time ago. But they recently hit me up and they asked me if I'd want to try out some of their obstacles because um, they posted a photo and that line of obstacles looks really, really cool. I shared it onto my story and they just hit me up and asked if I'd wanna try some. And so I said, yeah. So we got three things in here. What? This says deck. I didn't, they didn't tell me they were sending a deck. So I'll just open this first. They packaged this very well. I can't even get through it. So this is the, this is the board. It's a banana graphic. So you got a sheet of tape. Oh, nice. It's engraved tape. I have a sheet of Pro FB tape. I don't know where it is, but I have a sheet and I remember trying this and thinking it didn't feel like china tape and even the backing even though it's white it's not really the same as the uh, like white backing china tape and yeah it just says pro fb here's the board oh nice there's an engraving on top and yep i won't be able to ride it because it's a 34.2 but it's nice to have in the collection it looks really awesome it's a pretty high shape it's got high kicks but yeah i mean it's a nice looking deck pixel banana real nice I just think the top engraving is really cute too. And then we got some stickers in here. Three of these types of stickers. A couple of these. These are, I like these. These are really cute. And uh, their logo with like a swirly design. Some smaller ones here. Two tiny Ruff B stickers. Okay, let's get into the obstacles. I'm gonna stay with this lens. Oh my god, this is so cool. Look at that. These are all just kind of cut out of a wooden block and then they obviously put, they made it look like a bench essentially. And it it just looks so nice. It's a mani pad. I don't know what the name is, hang on. Called the Pro FB Woodblock Sidewalk Drain. <laughs> Pretty long name. Okay, I'll need to put some non-sliders on this. These came like just in time uh, because I'm starting to film my part for Femblance. For those of you who don't know what Femblance is, it's basically an all uh, woman uh, edit in fingerboarding. And 
you can watch that somewhere on my channel as well but this is really nice quality they sell black river obstacles as well on their site but they have a line of their own designs it looks so nice this is just called the slappy ledge I think it's been a while since I've unboxed any obstacles on this channel, so this is just really cool. They originally wanted to send me just this one, I think, but I asked specifically for this. The reason is because I have this bench here from Kylie. Kylie FBS. Kylie FBS. I really like this. It just reminded me of that one, and I, I thought it looked really cool, so... Yeah, and I just love how these obstacles look. Like, obviously there are other obstacle companies that make obstacles cut out of blocks, but I just think this looks really cool because it's, like, you can see the wood grain. I mean, look. It looks like furniture. <laughs> but yeah, I need to put some non-sliders on this. This just looks really awesome. I'm so excited about these. Um, I'll stash them later. Okay, so it's the next day. I have been seshing this quite a bit. It's just so fun. It's so nice. I'm definitely going to film on this at some point. It's Christmas Eve today, and I hope everyone had a good Christmas or whatever it is that you celebrate. And I've been thinking that for my Lucid, I wanted to switch the tape out for ducky tape because I've been meaning to make a video about the new 0.2 millimeter tape that Savannah sent me and I just haven't set any of this up. So yeah, I figured this would be a good vlog to do it. And yeah, I have all my stickers to the ready. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm just taking off the trucks. So the reason why I thought that this Lucid would be a good opportunity to put on ducky tape is because for me, ducky tape works best when I'm writing like a low shape and Lucid's are quite low. I did have some black velvet on here, so this is just gonna, I'm just gonna peel this off. Tape is off, but it's okay. I end up covering the whole deck in stickers anyway. <laughs> so Savannah sent me a pack of frosted and regular each, but I think for today I'm gonna go with regular. I have all my usual stickers here. I have a new pack of mood stickers uh, from an unboxing, which I don't know if it's up by now. A lot of mood stickers. Big War Connoisseur, of course. Black River, I usually use for like the bottom layer of stickers. Duck Decks, of course, and also some Decade stickers. The thing with Black River stickers, the reason why I end up using them for these types of um, setups is just because I never use stickers this big anyway. I don't want the bottom layer to be too thick, so... And I take my stickers off kind of the same way you would take grip tape off. Not bad. That's that. I just spent 25 minutes doing this. <laughs> So the thing you need to remember with ducky tape, and this is an error I've made so many times, is that you want to make sure it like reaches the edge of your of your board, if that makes sense. So if you're doing like a full covered sticker job, make sure you get rid of as much of the sides as possible. So it's almost like there's an outline of the bottom ply, of that top ply, I mean. And I know I'm being really tedious about it, but it's just because if you don't do it that way, the tape will just come off because it's not really sticking to anything properly. Obviously, if you're not doing like a full coverage sticker job, then you don't have to worry about this. Also, I'm one of those people who puts on the ducky tape and then um, trucks because I don't want to have to peel off my ducky tape to take my trucks off. Now I'm gonna 
cut it off and most people uh, I think take it off with a razor but I do it the way I do it with like regular tape I know it's always worked for me but I do it slowly just have to press down really hard I know it, I mean it goes without saying because it's 0.2 millimeter but it is so thin it's good because it means it's not gonna add too much weight to the to the board in general nice you can barely tell there is tape on there <laughs> okay now time to poke the holes through and put it on the trucks all set up let's see let's see how it rides i've never ridden ducky tape with brts and brts are the heaviest trucks in my opinion and of course ducky tape makes it feel heavy as well so I think it's about time I wrapped up this video. I've pretty much been using my two Pro FB obstacles nonstop since I've gotten them. I especially love this ledge. I think it's really nice, it's really cool. You can pretty much just use these two obstacles like interchangeably. And as you saw in my like kind of mini edit, you can combine the two things. All in all, I definitely think these are some really high quality obstacles, so if you can get yourself some, you totally should. I feel like not a lot of people know about ProFB and that company overall, even though from what I remember, they've been around for a while. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I remember having obstacles from them from a while ago, but I can't remember exactly which ones I had. They're just really nice obstacles. The one thing about this one especially is, I don't know if you can see that, but this has some like markings. I don't know whether it's from the piece of wood or whether this was like a blemish from like sanding, but I wish it was even smoother, but I don't know. It's a natural material, so there's bound to be some like quote unquote blemishes it's not really even blemish it's just i don't know if you can see what i mean but it looks like there have been little chunks taken out of the side but yeah i mean other than that i really don't have any complaints they're practical obstacles they're very usable and they're very fun on a slightly different note this ducky tape 0.2 millimeter is really really nice i definitely prefer it over the 0.5 the 0.2 actually makes me prefer the regular more than the frosted i haven't set up some 0.2 millimeter frosted but i have some frosted 0.5 set up on a different deck and i was trying both at one point like hand in hand like the 0.2 regular and 0.5 frosted and I prefer the 0.2 regular, so yeah, I mean, that's interesting. I preferred Frosted just because it was less of an adjustment. I just kind of wanted to wrap up the video. But yeah, thank you so much to ProFB for sending those two obstacles. I'll definitely be riding them more. Unfortunately, I probably won't make an edit anytime soon just because I'm basically just like stacking clips for Femblance even though I haven't started filming clips properly. Most of the clips that I film from now on are probably all gonna go towards Femblance. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again ProFB and I'll see you guys in the next video.